Hey, what's up, YouTube? David here. Today, the video will be showing you how to downgrade a PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, and the Go on version 638 or 639, whichever you have. And um, to get started with this tutorial, we'll need to download a few things as always. You need to download the 63x downgrader version 3 underscore 1 dot zip. You will need to download your official firmware and um a custom firmware that you want now this downgrader does lead you to 620 okay and um to download the firmware i will have a link for this site psp hero click on official firmware and if you're using a regular psp you just click version 620 if you're using a psp go download this one um for this tutorial i am using a psp go so you will right click on that and extract here Make sure you have WinRAR installed, of course. Then um, you're going to want to create a new folder. Name it Update. And drag and drop eBoot into the Update folder. Alright, now you open up the downgrader. PSP. Alright, so basically... Go into this, go into PSP, go into game, and this is the folder you need. Alright, and um, I, won't, I don't have a download link to this. If you want to download a link, check out my other video. Link will be in the description to get the custom firmware for 620. Alright, so once you do that, connect your PSP into USB mode go into PSP and then game and drag both of the folders we just got into here copy a little slow <clears throat> All right, now after that, you can exit out everything and I'll see you at the PS. Okay, now after that, disconnect your PSP from um, the USB mode. And um, just to prove to you, this is in fact version 639. Um, right there, I'm sure you can see. And um, this also, this also works on 638, 639. But I'm afraid if you have 637, you're going to have to go to the update and download the newest update, which is 639, then do this. Anyways, you're going to want to go into your game section. And start up the downgrader. Alright, verify an SCE updater. Press, okay, once it says this, um, it says it will delete the resume game, your resume game that you got, your save state, so just hit X. By running this application, launching SCE, your user, okay, just, um, just feel, um, if you don't feel like risking it which I don't think there is a risk but whatever if you don't feel safe just press R to exit and we're going to go ahead and continue and by pressing X Okay, the screen finally came up, and as you see there, version 6.20, just um, hit start, accept, and then keep going, and hit X. And I am very sure your battery has to be at least 78% for this, so 
make sure that it is happening. I guess you could plug in the charger. Right there. Okay, it's finally finished. Um, now then, we can um, proceed with the installation. Okay, just uh, press X, restart, disconnect the power. Okay, when you see this, do not freak out, be like, oh my god, what have I done? Just, um, circle, just press the circle button, and your PSP should restart. And it does take a little bit to restart, so don't freak out there either. See, like I said, no worries. This PSP said it was a 0 5G motherboard, so he set that up later. Version 620. Okay, and basically, once you're on 620, you can do whatever you want. You can install 620 um, TN-E, you can install the perma patch on it, which is a permanent custom firmware patch right here. You can install P um 635 Pro 5, I believe the newest. You can install any custom firmware 635 Gen. Um, you know, just install custom firmware. If um if you want to learn how to put 620 TN firmware on here, once you're done with this, check out my other video. The link will be in the description down below. And thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.